Good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to my new episode of a um, my knitting, crocheting, spinning, crafty podcast. My name is Brittany. I will be your host today and every day. Um, and I'm just enjoying a pretty quiet morning. We actually just woke up about 30 minutes ago. I made some coffee. The dogs are fed and now they're chilling on the couch because we played outside a little bit. Um, so I'm trying, as you can see, another new location. So this is actually my desk where it sits downstairs because um, we didn't have a lot of natural light today. Unfortunately, it's kind of like an overcast day and I tried to film in front of my, um, my bookshelf again and it just was super grainy. Um, I mean, I am filming, of course, with my MacBook, but it was like extra grainy. <laughs> so um, I just decided I'd do it over here. I do have a nice lamp. So I pointed some lights in my direction and uh, we'll just get on. So it's totally fine. Um, this is not, a, we're super professional here, obviously. <laughs> um, so I am drinking some coffee out of my, I believe it's Kara, what's her name? Kozik, Kara Kozik. Um, one of her, uh, she illustrates these photos and then gets them on mugs and stuff. Um, so yeah, this is just a little beautiful coffee cup. I'm having some coffee this morning. I am a coffee person, um, 100%. So I was writing earlier in my, um, my moleskin notebook, just writing some podcast notes. Who am I? Um, but just to kind of remind myself, actually, I got a, quite a few packages in the mail this week. So I'll be sharing a Mr. Postman section. So that's super exciting as well. Um, as far as anything administrative, um, just if you guys enjoy this video, feel free to like and subscribe. Um, hit the little bell notification so that way you know when I post. I'm trying to post every Friday um, a weekly podcast with uh, an update on my knitting, um, dogs, <laughs> and life. Uh, so yeah, just if you do enjoy it, I would definitely appreciate the love. Um, and we'll just kind of hop right into it. So I'm going to take a sip of coffee real quick. First up, I suppose we can discuss some um, one finished object that I have. So I do not have ends woven in um, because that would be make sense. But I did finish my grandma's shorty socks. Um, so what I do for shorties or what I did for this set of shorties is I cast on my grandma prefers um, a little bit larger of a sock So I think I did 64 stitches on us twos or 2.5s because she likes that bigger fabric um, She doesn't like it like constricting her foot or her ankle. So um, I make sure I give her plenty of room um, and I just knit, knit the tube uh, I did a rounded toe kitchener stitched it and then um, the same uh, true afterthought heel for the heels so i've got both of them done and i do need to weave in the ends and i will block these only because they are a gift um, and then get those packaged up for christmas i'm also going to be sending her her boxy sweater that i showed for like that i showed last week um, so those are going to be her two uh, the box isn't necessarily for Christmas. Um, it was just because it was um, uh, not necessarily made for her as, when it started out. But as I was going on, I realized that it was probably not going to be my favorite sweater. So um, it is just a gift for her. Um, so of course we can gift when it's not the holidays because, um, just because. So, uh, but I did want to have just a small knit present for her for Christmas as well. Um, this is a colorway that I dyed probably three or four years ago whenever I first started dabbling in uh, hand dyeing yarn. 
Um, so it was kind of just a, a yellow green sort of colorway. So um, anyway, she loves all of my hand knit socks and wears them all the time. So uh, I like making them for her because she wears them. So um, those are my first finished objects for October. And I actually have some exciting stuff coming up for October as well. So I'm excited to show you those as well. So I'll just put those over there because I need to weave in the ends and block them. But that was my finished object for this week. Um, I've kind of set myself a goal. It's really lofty of doing a pair of socks, a shawl and a sweater per month um, until the end of the year to see what I can get done. And if that is not too overwhelming for me, I'm probably gonna continue that into next year as well. Um, so that is pair of socks number one. Now, last month I did not get a pair of socks done, but I did get two sweaters as well as a shawl, a Stephen West shawl. So take that as you may, <laughs> those are huge. Um, so I did get two of those done. So my goal is to get two pairs of socks done this month. So pair number one and finish object number one for the month complete. Next up is a work in progress, or my works in progress. Um, I'll be showing next my Tecumseh sweater, um, which is my sweater for the month of October. So this is a sweater by Caitlin Hunter, who is Boylan Networks um, as the, her designer name. Um, and I believe it's one of her older patterns. It's something that I had purchased a while ago and just never did it. Um, because I wasn't very confident in sweater knitting. Um, since then, I have learned a lot about sweater knitting and become a lot more confident in myself as well as my knitting skills. So I decided it's the perfect time to go ahead and cast it on. Um, and I made quite a bit of progress um, this week. So here's my Tecumseh. As you can see, I do have a, let me see, it's kind of bunched up on these cords. So let me get it unbunched for you. <laughs> so here we go. Um, you can see my stitch marker up at the kind of top. It's about four, four rows into this color work portion. And I have done, um, started the second color work portion and I am two rows in to the second portion of the second color work section. <laughs> um, so that's, I feel quite a bit of progress for one week. Um, I really need to crank through this if my goal is to have one sweater per month, um, but I actually think that's pretty good. And this week, um, I mean, looking at this, that, that, that was a lot of knitting for this week and you know, like finishing socks and um, I did some scrappy projects as well and I worked on my cowl for this month. Um, but I also know that I didn't have my normal knitting time this week. I was super tired this week. Um, I worked a lot of overtime this week. So I definitely know that that had something to do with my, um, my lack of knitting time and just lack of energy to really want to do anything. So um, I'm not like usually a nap person, but this week I, like this past week, the past seven days since my last um, podcast, I've taken five naps, like not per day, but in total. So five out of seven of the past days I've taken a nap, which is like extremely weird for me. Um, so I, I don't really know what's going on there. I'm just super tired this week. Um, and again, it probably had a lot to do with the overtime, but I'm hoping that next week, oh, I don't know if I want to say this out loud, but I would love to have the, the body done of this sweater. Um, the only thing that's interesting about the sweater is how long the yoke is. Um, that is almost like poncho-y, I guess, like how the, how it fits. Um, so I hope that I like that look on me. Um, but I'm just excited to have conquered the Tecumseh and have it off the needle. So, um, not because, not for lack of enjoying the project. It has been a beautiful project. It's increased my, um, my personal 
confidence in color work um, because my last color work sweater, I felt like I made it a dud and it was not a dud pattern. Um, it was just my color work was uneven and it looked wonky. Um, so I feel so much better about this. Um, yeah, to comes up. As far as the yarn, um, this creamy color, um, this like coffee tan color and this deep red color um, are hand dyed by me. Um, so yeah, I'm really loving the Tecumseh so far, um, but I'm also ready to have it off the needle so I can wear it. This project is living in my Bags by Awesome Granny uh, bag. It's this like, um, reminds me of just like a summer night with uh, fireflies and it's a beautiful bag. So in it currently is living my Shift Cowl by Andrea Mowry. I am using the prescribed yarn of Spin Cycle. Um, all of my project details are down below. I don't remember the colorways, but I do have them in my Ravelry project page. Um, so, the bag down real quick. Um, here she is. Um, and this is not traditional color work where you hold two, um, like two strands at the same time. Um, you're only working with one strand per, uh, per row. And I believe it's, um, oh, that's really awful that I can't remember what the name is. It's not like stranded, um, I really can't remember guys. I'm so sorry. Y'all know what it is. Um, I'm just, it's super early and I just woke up 30 minutes ago is my excuse <laughs> and the pandemic I've got pandemic brain <laughs> um but yeah I think it's really lovely so far um spin cycle yarn is a, like you know super beautiful and unique so uh this is my first project using spin cycle it certainly will not be my last um I actually already really want to knit the cinnabar um Shaw, also by Andrea Mowry, and she uses spin cycle yarn. Turn that off, sorry. Um, yeah, so it's really beautiful yarn. Um, I showed you guys last week that I was also knitting a shift, or no, sorry, the night shift by Andrea Mowry, but I'm using my own hand spun yarn. Um, uh, to make that so um, once I kind of I think I like scheduled myself to to make the cinnabar sometime next year um, so I'll certainly buy some spin cycle maybe I'll ask for some for Christmas I don't know um, but yeah I think it's absolutely beautiful um, not really much to say about it it's just a color work cowl um, Again, all of the details are on my project page on Ravelry, including the colorways, um, and it's just a one size sort of thing. I am using US sixes. I'm using Chow Goose, uh, which is my needle of choice. Shift. Okay. So really quickly, I am gonna go into a Mr. Postman section um, because my uh, two sections after that include things that I got in the mail. Um, so I would love to show you what I got in the mail this, this past week. Um, the first thing, and I'm gonna have William, my husband, <laughs> hide this from me um, because I have no self-control but it is my advent calendar um so this is the first year ever that i purchased an advent calendar um i was like never on top of it and they were usually always sold out by the time i got to them um so i'm super excited about my advent calendar i did uh purchase the legacy fiber arts advent calendar 2020. um i believe they only had one like option available. I know that some dyes have like multiple types of advents available. Um, 
but they unfortunately are all or fortunately for them <laughs> i guess are all sold out and um i just i want to open it so bad <laughs> but i'm gonna wait i'm gonna be i'm going to wait until december 1st um because i have a lot of plans for this advent so um the projects that i would like to knit uh, slash crochet with the advents and they're 20 there's 20 gram minis 25 20 gram minis um so my plans for that advent are um sometime in november i will be knitting the cuffs just with white yarn um, because i'm not sure what the first color looks like and i want them to look nice and crisp um so just with some undyed or white yarn um i'll do the cuffs for two i'll do two cuffs and then i was going to put them on um, circular needles and then i'll take a portion of the mini skein um, you know you open one a day so i'll get the first skein and i'll put those into my socks and then i will make a battenberg square i will add um, some to my cozy memories because i pulled that out i said i was going to last week and i did um so i'm going to add some to my cozy memories and then i'm going to add everything else anything that's left over to my granny stripe blanket um so that's my plans for my advent and i that, i know that sounds like a lot of projects like that's four projects but i definitely think i have enough uh with 20 grams because even with um like 10 gram minis that I get from row one, um, I'm able to do three of those things with a substantial amount left to put in my granny stripe. So I do a Battenberg um, cozy memory and the granny stripe. And at least I have been this past week and I still have plenty to put in my granny stripe. So I think I'll be good with 10 grams. Um, I don't know how many stripes I'm gonna do with the sock, but um there's 25 so there should be plenty to make socks um even if the leg isn't quite so long but i can always make like a longer cuff um i will not do contrasting heels most likely um that day i'll just use however much i need of the 20 gram mini for the heels and then everything else will go towards making you know the squares and i might not have enough to put in my um my granny stripe but that's totally fine you know those are long-term projects anyway um, but i do want to have a pair of scrappy christmas socks um i think that will be fun so that is number one number two um let me grab it real quick splurge a little bit for my cozy memories blanket and i bought myself a pair of signature needles so I am using US2 for my needles. I bought the 10 inch, um, which at first I was like, oh my gosh, those are so long. Um, I should have gotten the seven, but working with them, I actually really don't mind it and I like it a lot. So I'm really glad that I did the 10. You know, I would have liked the seven as well. Um, I got these like the stiletto point, the super sharp point, And then I got the, the I think it was called the bell. I did not get them customized at all and they came super quick so i did get a pair of signature needles so that was um mail number two um okay so number three was kind of a big one okay so my um next sweater that i would like to make um is the turtle dove <laughs> wow um by espastrico so i bought some wool folk luft and when it came in I don't know what I was expecting from this yarn, but it is really lovely. Um, so I got the color L3. Um, they're alphanumeric colorways. And so it's this just this like 
blue genie blue but maybe a little bit lighter it is it's gorgeous pretty much um so i got enough um the rest is over my bookshelf but um i got enough for a sweater's quantity um and then because i am into spinning right now and i am working on um getting yarn in place for my night shift shawl um i did also buy some Malabrio Noob, and this is it says 1910, um, but I don't think that's the actual name of the colorway. There was like a name for it whenever I purchased it. Um, and then I also I've started working with this color already, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Oh my god and this one i have it i think i do maybe i don't oh darn it um i don't have the colorway for this one if i remember to i will put it um in the down bar but so i i do currently live in virginia um, but I'm from the, um, like Metro Atlanta area. Um, actually my husband and I both are, we're from that area. So there is a shop called Eat Sleep Knit that I went to for a long time while I was living down there. It was my favorite shop ever. It is just like when you walk in like a warehouse sized yarn store. It's amazing. They're amazing. Um, so I ordered the Wolf Oak Luft plus these two, um, vats of fiber. Again, I have no idea about spinning except for how to do the very basics of what I'm doing on my drop spindle. That's pretty much it. <laughs> so, um, I got these two Malabrigo Noob, uh, braids, um, from them as well. Um, and then I had one more, um, one more package come in this week that's like crafty related. Um, I feel like I spent a lot of money, but, um, I ordered this over the past like few weeks. So I guess it's not that bad. Um, but I, I do subscribe to row one to get their minis. So I did get another row one package and I got 10, 10 gram minis that are already wound up um, for my scrappy projects. So that was my fourth package for this week. Um, that's a lot. Wow. Okay. So while we're on the subject of knitting and crocheting, before I move on to spinning, um, I will share a little bit of what I've done on my scrappy projects. So I mentioned... I'm trying to balance this basket, but I don't really have anything to balance it on. Whatever, I'm just going to set it back down. So I pulled out my cozy memory uh, blanket. So I added four squares. I added this one up here which is a really nice like pink gold color. Um, and then this one right here, which was scrap yarn from this hat. I was actually wearing it this morning because it was a little chilly, uh, which is why I have it down here. It's usually not down here. Um, this, which is leftover from, I believe, Well, I did put some of this into my um, spring cleaning shawl, but I think I started using it whenever I made my penguono. Um, and then this right here. So yeah, four squares into my Cozy Memories blanket. Um, I don't particularly like all of the, like, the lines to be matched up. Um, so I kind of go back and forth as far as how I, how I do those. Um, everybody has their own preferred way of doing that. Um, I just prefer it when they don't. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take 
the stitch markers off. Um, but this pattern is by, I believe, Kemper Ray. And it's a free pattern, free download on Ravelry. I do have a project page, but I do not keep the colorways um, on, on my project page. So um, I have no idea how long I want to make it. I, I have oh, that too. Um, so it's like a lap blanket right now, um, but I definitely want it to be quite a bit uh, wider than it currently is. So um, I might square it off and just kind of um, keep on making it bigger and bigger. So there's one scrappy. Just grab that and that. And then toss this humongous basket. I keep my scrappy projects all in one basket. Um, okay, so next up is Granny Stripe. And I'm just trying to find the progress keeper. There she is. Um, so yeah, that's how much I did on it. Again, just four little minis right there. You can see the project, the marker. Um, so let me go ahead and move that up. Um, all of my blankets that I've made have been just out of scrap yarn or minis. Um, I'm not a blanket maker um, out of like, I don't like order yarn for blankets, but um, my blankets are typically my way of using up every single last scrap of yarn. Um, so that's why they're all like, they, they're, they're gonna take forever, which is totally fine. Um, but yes, they're all specifically made out of all of my scrap yarn. Um, and then, my last part of scrappy Sunday. Um, this is this is what I worked on this past Sunday. Um, I did four Battenberg squares. So again, these are just the same colorways that I added into my other blankets. So yeah, I love how things look crocheted versus knit. It's so interesting. So. Those are my um, scrappy projects that I worked on this past week. Um, I am trying to implement, um, I do work Sunday, so my shifts are Sunday through Wednesday. Um, but I'm trying to implement a scrappy Sunday um, in that, like during my breaks, before work and after work, uh, that I will be working on my scrap projects. They do kind of fall to the wayside, I'm finding, um, and I just love working on them so much that I definitely want to not, neg not neglect them. Um, so yeah, but just like, you know, a few hours per week, just get a few things done there and um, move on for the rest of the week. So um, that's all my scrappy. Next up is my spinning. Um, so I started spinning this colorway. Um, and this is what I have so far. It is a really beautiful colorway. As I'm spinning more, I'm noticing that my tension, my ability to create the same uh, size um, yarn. I don't know if it's yarn until you ply it, or if this is you. This is, is like I guess it's like a single singles base. Um, so yeah, so my single ply um, has become very very consistent. So, and this is my second, I have made one braid so far of worth of yarn, um, which came out to be like 100 grams of heavy DK slash worsted weight. Um, so, but it's, it's inconsistent and it was my first try. So like, that's totally fine. Um, so this one is much more consistent and will still produce a, um, a worsted weight because this is fingering weight. Um, so I think it's gonna be really beautiful. Um, it, I love the yellows. I never really thought I was a yellow person until like lately. 
Um, but I love the like the gold yellows and the purples and the reds. Um, so I believe I need like five or six colors for the night shift. Um, so I'm just going to make my way through these first three and then um, order some more. And um, while I'm waiting on the rest of it, you know, I can get more started on like the, the night shift shawl. But it's lovely. It's so pretty. Um, and again, I, I think that my the, my um, spinning has just become really consistent lately. My goal and what I've been doing to make it that way is spinning 20 minutes per day. So I'm finding that the more, and I kind of cap it off there because there's just so much to do, obviously. Um, and But because I love spinning so much and, and you know, it's becoming one of my new my new thing so I'm just a knitter crochet or spinner I guess um, I, I find that giving it that consistent attention I'm really getting to a place that I feel that I'm getting good so um, again I have no idea what I'm doing except for how to do it so uh, I have no idea what spinning terms are or anything like that I just know this is a drop spindle and I'm making yarn so um, there we go that is my spinning for this week. Um, and again, I did all of that this week, so that's pretty pretty decent for 20 minutes a day. I'd say that's not too bad. Um, checking my notebook here. Okay, so as far as my upcoming projects, so um, this month I do wanna finish my Tecumseh. I would like to get started on my um, my other sweater, the, why do I always forget it? The Turtle Dove. Um, and finish my cowl, my, my shift cowl. Sorry, working on the night shift and the shift. Anyway, um, finish my shift cowl. Um, and then if I get my grandpa's Christmas socks done, which I showed last week, which I've had, did no progress on this week. Um, as soon as I cast this off, my goal is to cast on a new pair of socks. So that's kind of how I'm rotating the projects. Once I finish one, just start on the next. Um, so the next will be Will's, my husband's Christmas socks. Um, so I have some I use a little bit of this in my pinguono. Um, this is uh, Hippo for Cinco by Lolo Did It. Um, and I think they'll make some really pretty socks. I actually bought it because my birthday is Cinco de Mayo <laughs> and I just wanted something cool. So I think these are really cool and I think that he'll like them a lot. Um, they've got like some pops of color, but I think that he'll be totally okay with that. Um, and then I do want to do um, the... the I Smell Snow Shawl. Um, so once I finish my cowl, I'm going to go ahead and cast on the I Smell Snow Shawl in this colorway. Oh my gosh, <laughs> I love this green. It's called Boon Slang, which is a Harry Potter reference for Boon Slang skin. Um, it is a potions ingredient. Um, I It's like the perfect green. Um, I'm a big... I, I love greens, <laughs> love, love, love greens, um, and like dark reds, um, if you can't tell. So you probably couldn't tell this episode, actually, now that I'm looking at my projects, whatever. Um, but this green is just like so like gross and swampy, and I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, so it is Madeline Tosh. Um, the sock, one of their sock bases. Oh, I can't wait. I do have to order. So I have some like, I do have some skeins of yarn that I have multiple colorways in. Um, one option is Sweat of Weather 2.0 by Legacy Fiber Arts. Um, I've got some by um, Molly from a homespun house. But they're just like not right. They don't fit the, the look that I want to go for with this. 
Um, so I'm on search for a colorway for this. Um, and again, I'll be looking, I'll be looking to knit the I Smell Snow Shawl by Melody Hoffman. Um, so oh, I just can't wait to get my hands on this. That's why I'm trying to like this week, my goal is just to like knit, 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 knit as much as I can. Um, and I'm not working any overtime this upcoming week. So I literally have plenty of time. Um, and hopefully I won't need five naps this week. Um, oh, craziness. Um, but I also didn't want to like overstretch myself last week. So I let myself take those naps. Um, so, but hopefully I won't need them this week. So that way I can just not, well, I'm not going to, I'm not starting this this week. Don't worry guys. I'm not going to go cast on crazy. Um, I just wanted to bring it over here to show you guys because I'm super excited about it. Um, but obviously like all of my projects I'm super excited about. Um, and then I have this colorway and this colorway and this colorway that I want to do something with. I just pulled these. I'm not really sure why, um, but I don't know. Something like jumped out at me. So I'm going to keep them over here and see if I can find a project for them. Maybe. So yeah. Um, I honestly think that's all the like crafty stuff that I've got going on. Um, okay. So I got randomly cut off. Um, so I believe that that is everything that I had for you this week. Um, I checked my notebook and I didn't have anything else. Um, as far as life stuff, I guess, um, I also got two pieces of furniture for this week, um, which I need to put together. So I purchased a coffee bar that's going to go actually like ooh, right there. Um, and it's super cute. So I can't wait to do that. I think next month will next month or December, we'll be purchasing a new espresso machine. Um, I just have like the $30 Mr. Coffee espresso machine, which is perfectly fine. Um, but I am going to buy a new one for myself. Um, uh, I've been saving up for like a long time for it. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's happening. I got a new bookshelf for my like yarn area over there. So that's super exciting. Um, I need to put that together and kind of reorganize my yarn, um, which means that I can put my actual books back on my bookshelf because I'll have a section for yarn. Um, so yeah, that's going to be happening this weekend. Uh, hopefully, I know that Will has watched sometime this weekend, so I don't think that he was like super excited to help me out, <laughs> um, which sounds bad. He's like, he's always super helpful, but um, I know that he'll be really tired because he's been working like crazy hours this past these past few weeks. So um, we'll see if I can hopefully figure it out by myself. I was going to start the bookshelf. I open it up. It doesn't have any instructions. Um, and I'm not like the kind of gal who can just like, who's like, that th that's okay. Um, I need it to have instructions. So I'm going to have to Google those, I guess, which is like zero work involved. Um, but it's just like oh, inconvenient. Um, but I still have to do that. And then, um, the coffee bar is like heavy. Um, so I'm going to like scoot it over to that area and just build it over there um which is that's our kitchen i'm sure you can see, i think you can see the fridge right there so um yeah i wanted the coffee bar so the the uh my coffee stuff doesn't clutter the um kitchen counters any longer so yeah um that's that's like life going on is that i need to build that um i need to clean i really don't want to but got to clean. So that's probably going to happen today as well. Hopefully I'll finish the heel turn of my grandpa's socks um, and then get the color portion, the second color portion done on my Tecumseh. And um, yeah, just enjoy my weekend. So I have one more day of my weekend, which is really great. I love having a three day weekend every weekend. Um, so whatever I don't get done today, I'm just going to knit like crazy tomorrow and enjoy tomorrow. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this past week. Um, please leave me some comments down below 
and uh, give my, if you would like to and are feeling like it, I would love for you guys to give this some love. Um, like, subscribe, and um, come back next week for more knitting content. <laughs> the mailman whiskey hates the mailman I don't know why anyway so um, I hope y'all come back next week for some puppy interrupted and um, lots of crafting content hopefully a finished object whether that's socks or something else we shall see um, but I'm just gonna get into it and enjoy crafting and um, thank you guys so much for sitting with me and enjoying this time with me. Um, and again, if you are a podcaster, drop it down below. Don't feel bad of self-promotion. Um, I love watching podcasts while I'm knitting and at work to have some background. Um, so drop it down below if you are also a podcaster. I would love to check your channel out. Um, Y'all have a great rest of your upcoming week. Enjoy your weekend um, if you have a traditional weekend. Um, this upcoming few days. If not, enjoy it. <laughs> wow. Whiskey, baby. Come here. It's okay. <laughs> um, anyway, enjoy your weekend, guys. Um, <laughs> these dogs are crazy. They're just over here yawning and barking. Anyway. Oh, hi, baby. Um, so y'all have just an excellent next week. Um, and I'm going to have some more coffee because I'm, I'm a little bit tired this morning. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and dip and I'm going to go ahead and play with these dogs some more and, um, knit and clean and just have a great weekend.